Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Lillian. Hope everybody is doing well and thank you for stopping by. I am here to share a project and this is from Scrap Diva Designs. It is the Beach Ball mini album. I've been seeing so many projects out there like with all the dies, but, um, and I've had this actually project on sitting on my desk for quite some time. I've just haven't had a chance to make a video until now. Um, but this is a great mini album. I see a lot of girls making cards and, um, other embellishments with, but it's, it, its main intention was that it is a mini album. And so I decided to do that just because I'm running out of time with all these projects. But um, look at the size of this. It's huge. It is huge, which I love because then you could really print out about four, four by four pictures, four and a half by four. I mean, it's, it's a nice real estate that we have here. So... So you have the main die cut here that cuts out these pieces, um, which is great. You can make it into a shaker. This is what gives you that beach ball, of course, um, um, visual, right? And then, of course, it has the foundation piece and a stitched layering piece. Um, so you could use them as so, but you don't have to. You could just use the foundation, but we know when we do the layering piece, it just adds a little bit more to our um, projects. And then I love the little additional die sets that come with this. Um, and it comes with an umbrella. I need to use this a little bit more. I have been really like <laughs> cranking the little mini surfboards and the little mini swimsuit with this little um, bow because you could use it in all of your summer um, projects so i one night i was just cranking them i was just getting different colors and cranking them because it was so easy um you know just to make a stash so adorable you could use them with other projects you could use them with the beach ball mini album it's up to you um but i really had fun making this so here it is um and i think i had mentioned in my other videos that i have a lot of summer um, paper collections that I just collected over the years. I'm talking like a lot. Um, and so I'm like, let me use, you know, and as much as I want to use them during the year, during summer, I mean, there's only so many that you could use, right? So I use this one. I will list it which one it is because um, I can't remember at the top of my head. But I just added this little dangle that I had received from row which um matches perfectly so i decided to add it but all the stickers um the ephemera they are from the paper collection of course i did use some of the die sets like as you could see here the um bathing suit from the beach ball mini album and then i'll point out some other ones but for the most part i I went and used the entire paper collection and I have a lot left over. So um, I could use an, I could do another mini album. But so I decided, and of course I decided to use glitter cardstock because oh, it just adds out so much and I love it. And of course it's a shaker. I really, the first time I did this, I really made it into a thick shaker, but that didn't work out. I had to make it a little bit skinnier, but you know, it's a learning all the time, but it is a shaker and I love it. Look at how pretty that is. Very summery. And I did pull from the the paper collection color, of course. Um, all of this is from the collection. Very summery. Of course, I had to use in the front the bathing suit. So appropriate. Um, here, let me... And I use, um, I was thinking of making it bigger. That's why I use this um, one and a half inch ring. Um, but that's okay. I didn't make more. I think it's still pretty chunky, as you could see. Um, and so look at the space here for picture. I love it. Can't wait to fill it. I'm going to give it as a gift. Um, maybe to someone and fill it already with pa with pictures. Um, but look at the cute little flip-flops. 
And I know I could have done um, her Scrap Divas mini flip-flop die sets, but they would have been a bit too big. And I really wanted to use the paper collection, but it would have been totally appropriate here. Um, but look at how cute. All the stickers again from the collection. I did make this rosette from the paper collection because I love rosettes. I added a little sentiment on the bottom with the flip-flops on top. That way it'll give room for the picture here as well as this page here. And then this next page is the bubbles page. And I used the swimsuit here because it was so cute. And that yellow pops. So I really liked it there. And then I added this fun. Look at that space. Nice. Here, let's... I mean, I'm going to be able to print out four wide, depending on... And then tall, about four. So that's a pretty nice size, nice size picture. Yeah, I'm really, really digging these big mini albums from Scrap Diva. The flip-flop one was perfect. And now this one. Look at this paper of watermelon. How cute is that? And it's matching paper. I did this little rosette and added the watermelon. And I made this little basket that if I wanted to um, insert any type of paper or picture, I can. Super cute. And then here we have the Popsicle Kiwi paper. Look at how cute that is. And then here I use the stickers, but the strawberry is a die cut that I decided to add it just to give it a little bit more, bring out that strawberry color out. And if you notice, which I haven't, haven't said, I did stitch each one of them in the gold. I just had to. It's been a while that I've been that I haven't been stitching, so I thought, oh well, this is easy. They're circles, so let me go ahead and do that really quickly, um, just to give it a little extra. And I think it does. And then here's this. So again, you know, really quickly to put these together because it's a mini album, so there's only so much. Um, at least for me, embellishment um, to add because I really, again, want to leave room for the pictures. And usually after I add my pictures, I'll go back and I'll add something else because now that the picture has been placed, then I know where I could um, layer either flowers or other ephemera. So it doesn't mean that this is the last of it. It just means that if I'm going to gift it, it allows um, the person or me to add the picture that they want, and then they could embellish it a little bit more. So I love the matching pictures um, uh, that the collection has. I purposely, you know, made sure that they stayed together. Look at how cute this is. Right? Yeah, I, I can't remember at the top of my head what the collection is, but I will list it there. And then the back, I did a flat um, without foam shaker, but just to give it that effect. But it is really, truly the front one that I did it into a true... Um, into a true shaker for this album. But I love it. It's big enough to, um, you know, print out four by four pictures or four and a half by four and a half. Um, and then you could always, again, go back and embellish it some more if necessary. But I love it. It was quick um, because not a lot of pieces to it. So, if you haven't picked it up, you should use my code Lillian10 so you can save 10%. And I really hope you enjoyed this. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.